Hi, Janet Toral here, and this presentation is all about the Philippine School Cyberfare Project, where I am its current ambassador. This project started in the year 2001. It is a competition for elementary and high school institutions where they create websites that talks about their own community. It is a content for children by children kind of contest where children have to go to the field, visit establishments to get the data that they need. It is very research oriented and during the review process they also look into the entries of other schools. To know more about the schedule, the timeline, and how to join, just visit the website at www.cyberfair.ph. There are eight categories in the Philippine School Cyberfair competition. Category 1 is local leaders. This is where you create a website that talks about famous or important people in your community that may include politicians, authors, artists, musicians, and sports figures. Category 2 is community groups and special population where you highlight specific community populations and create an entry about it. Category 3 is business and organizations where you can create a website that showcases local businesses or organizations. You can also create an entry about local specialties, sports or health where you focus on unique items or things produced or grown or raised in your community or activities, games, or health programs happening in your area and put them in a website entry. Category 5 is local attractions where you can create a website that highlights local, natural, and man-made attractions like rivers, oceans, mountains, among others. Category 6 is a very popular category which is historical landmarks where you can document and showcase historical landmarks like missions, battlefields, among others. Category 7 focuses our attention on a very important global issue today, which is all about the environment. This is where you create an entry that exposes local environmental concerns and highlights special efforts that promotes a sense of awareness and action on this area. You can also create an entry for Category 8, where you can showcase local music and musicians or art forms that are important elements of the community experience. When joining the Philippine School Cyberfare Project, there are four things that you need to do. That includes choosing a category from the eight ones that I've shown you earlier, work on your project narrative, tell the story about your project and its impact to the community, work on your website, and join the peer review process later on. All Philippine School Cyberfare entries gets reviewed based on the following criteria. First, we look at the team, whether it fits the team this year, which is all about learn and unite. We will also look into the content and organization, which focuses on the ideas and the lessons learned being presented in the entry. We also look into other technical aspects. To know more about it, visit the peer review rubric at www.cyberfair.ph. Schools winning any of the eight categories will get a trophy for the school, medals for the student, and special prizes for the teachers. Schools joining the Philippine School Cyber Fair are also encouraged to join the International School Cyber Fair using the same entry but at the same time compete globally with this contest. Even with limited internet connection, a growing number of schools are joining the Philippine School Cyber Fair. We hope you could be one of them this year. To know more information, join us today and visit our website at www.cyberfair.ph.